six, the gains of beating Richmond at the MCG, almost mm. given back by losing at home, although Essendon look a top four team. They sure do. Uh, look, I think Freo will, uh, will, will actually be beaten comfortably on the weekend. They're playing the best side in the competition. They're coming to the MCG, although they played really well there against Richmond, as you said. Uh, look, they played pretty well the other day. They kicked 14 goals. We've been critical of them because they don't score. They kicked 14 goals over there in, in Perth. It's a pretty good return for what, how they usually play. Their defence is sensational as they try, but I really think they lack a little bit up for them. And Pav's OK, but what else you got? Yeah, they need another tour, have got something they? else. You know, give me They've something. They've got to find so, something. And that's, what, and that's uh, Ross's uh, big, mm. big task, to find someone else, because I think the move at the ball in the middle and a few others around the place has really sparked up their midfield, changed it uh, dramatically, mm. and they're, they're a force to be reckoned with. But will they beat Collingwood? And if they don't beat them, their run's hard. At home, they play the Western Bulldogs, GWS, the West Coast, the big, the big derby we know, Richmond and Melbourne. I, I can see them really winning all of those, except given the West, the West Coast, Coast game. Yeah. I can see them winning the bulk of those. That puts them right back in the mix. I think then they come to Melbourne, they come to Etihad Stadium to play North Melbourne and Melbourne at different points in the latter part of the year. It's not beyond the realms that they could make the eight. We, they'd have to, yeah. 12 would have to be, I think, the max or the minimum, sorry. Yeah for them to make the eight. If it's 13 wins, I can't see them can't make it. And then there's the two teams at five and seven.